You are a trooper. Thank you for coming back. I keep waiting for you to be like, peace out. I'm out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> no, that's cool. I feel I don't, I've never had this happen before. Or... No, it's not you at all. It's definitely not you. It's something with Instagram because we're still, we're still communicating. It's yeah. somehow, I'm hoping she can like splice all these videos into one video and post the whole uh, interview over it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, <laughs> everybody's, who keeps coming back. yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you. So ask your questions again. We were talking about <laughs> your genius. Um, yeah. So what, ha what happened to that show? It seemed like it was on the fast track for going to the West end and, yeah. uh, what, what happens? So, uh, <laughs> it was, it was really, it was really tough actually. There's, um, so like so much that happens. Um, when that was, um, it was supposedly going to transfer, um, to the ambassador's theater and we got that and, um, you know, that was, that was great. Um, but there was lots of difficulties with the pay yeah. and, um, it it wasn't something that I thought I could accept. I was like, mm. if I'm as much as this is a dream come true for me, the pay that was offered, I didn't think was good enough, basically. And um, like, it, it, not at all. Um, sorry for anyone who has just joined. We're talking about Eugenius. Yes, thank you. Um, and um, I just saw someone being like, "What show?" <laughs> um, but um, and yeah, and then we had like, so I was meant to be doing Panto. Mm -hmm. um and obviously they were like um chris jordan's like as a panto company i've worked with before and they're a lovely company and we're like we would never step in the way of doing of you doing a west end show so you do it but obviously there is a fee so i would have had to buy myself oh wow out of the contract and obviously normally a producer pays that we can be giving you all the tea i know you're giving it um, all but it's like the whiskey, it's the whiskey talking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> really um, oh, fuck it. Um, but yeah, so, and um, you know, the producer couldn't pay that for us. And then it turned out that just, um, there was a lot of trouble with the producer. Yeah. Um, and then it just all got pulled. So, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's difficult. I understand that they were probably really excited that they had the option to transfer and, you know, but there just, there was a lack of communication and, um, yeah, it was a very, it's a very difficult time but you know I feel like had that not have happened I wouldn't have auditioned for waitress and it just it wouldn't yeah it, it it just all worked out in the right way because then as that was happening um I then got through an audition for waitress and was like well I'm gonna fucking take this and then yeah. you know, <laughs> this is this could be a really good sign and um I mean I adore you genius and if it was to happen again like I, you know, I jump on it because I just absolutely adored it. And I love like the, I love the character that Jane is yeah. because she's so, she's like a hero and she's smart she was, and yeah. funny yeah. and, you know, powerful and sexy and like all these amazing things put into one. And I loved playing someone like that, but yeah. Um, it's just a shame it didn't transfer, but I feel like hopefully it will get its, its, its time. But yeah, yeah. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's a good good attitude. I loved it. I, I, I enjoyed it Ooh. thoroughly watching it. So I, I, I love that kind of stuff. That can't oh, be good. kind yeah. of fun stuff. Um, yeah, so beautiful. So tell me a little bit about the audition uh, process for that. I mean, that was originating the role of Dawn is pretty pretty major. And that was a, you know, a star studded yeah. cast of, of folks in that show. So tell me a little bit mm. about the audition process for that. Did it was it rigorous? Was it uh, um, 20 rounds? You know, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, <laughs> um, it was pretty pretty scary and I think <laughs> it always it always is when you know that you're auditioning for something that one you really want and two you know is going to be a big deal and I think everyone was like have you got an audition for witches have you got one like it's um <laughs> okay it kind so of, there's it a was buzz everyone yeah you know it was kind of hot topic and um yeah um it was scary so I got the um material through and I had to go in and sing it and I sang it through actually with Darren who was the MD for Eugenius and I was like when he sees me, I thought it would be an easy sing. And actually, it's really hard. I was like, jeez, this is a hard sing. But um, yeah, I went in and did it. And um, and then I think there was like, I want to say three more rounds of me going in and doing that with material. And every time there was another person added. Okay. And then there was one time where I thought it was my final. And there was about 20 people in the room. And um, I basically did the same thing again. And I was like, okay, it's done. That was my final. We knew that was my final. Okay, I'll go out. I'll have a drink. And, you know, just... You know, wait for the call. Yeah, wait yeah. for the call. 
So I got a call, but it was that wasn't actually your final. Your final's tomorrow. And I was like, jeez, I was like, oh, no. what? <laughs> like, I drink so much. But anyway, um, so then on the, I think it was on like a Friday, and it was so tough because um, me and David Hunter have talked about this. And like, normally throughout auditions, I mean, I love meeting people at auditions and I'll, I'll chat to anybody, but it is always so difficult, I think, when you, especially when you get to a final and you meet the person that you know you're up against. And oh, that was yeah. exactly, that was exactly what happened. It was me and another girl. And then it was uh, my friend Dan and another guy. And then it was like David and someone else. And Lucy was there. And then there's another like lady and like Marisha was there. And then, so it was like, um, it was just two of each person. Oh, and that yeah. was, that that's was hard. Tough. Yeah, that's hard. Really hard because yeah. then all of a sudden the pressure is is magnified. And then I hadn't even thoughts that come into your mind of like, how do they do it? Like, how? Yeah. You know, it's it's just not a nice. Um, Hopefully, not you nice can't hear through the door. Thing. Hopefully, I always I've been at auditions where you can kind of hear the people through the door, and I'm like, no, I don't. The want worst. To hear. Yeah. It's literally that is literally the worst thing in the entire world. I mean, thank God, um, we weren't. So the dawns, we didn't have to sing when he okay. sees me. No. So otherwise that would have been like, ah. <laughs> yeah. um, but you just, they basically, we went in with a Jenna and with a Becky okay. and they would do a scene, but it was a scene that I'd never been given before. So I was also oh, wow. doing a cold read, yeah, which wow. is also kind of unfair because normally when you do a, a final, it's stuff that you've been given notes on. Sure. And it's sure. basically like, this is the finished product this is i've taken on everything that you've told me to do right here exactly. it is whereas i was literally given a new piece of script and like and obviously you're just showing yourself so it's <laughs> it's scary um but yeah then they would swap me with the other girl and then you know bring in a different becky and yeah so that was and then we did a dance round okay um and then that i was like okay i'm done great then I got another call and I was like, fuck off. No, I yeah. was like, this has to be it. And they were like, we, they need you to go in again. But this time um, they were trying to find an Ogi. Um, oh. And it was really hard because I was the only Dawn there. So I was like, this is a really great thing. Like either, does this mean that I, I'm the Dawn? But they can't tell me I'm the Dawn. But does this mean... Oh, yeah. wow. And so they didn't like, tell you anything. No. And they were trying to find the right Ogi. Um so and then I found out um a week later that I got it so yeah it was a pretty scary audition pre process yeah but sounds like it worth the wait you know now did they have to send it off to America or was the American group uh, the there American, and... um yeah they were all there so Sarah okay. Rellis was there like yeah. um you know the director Diane was there the writer like Jesse Nelson like they were all all there the producer was there so everyone um that needed to be there they had their say i mean they filmed the ogi on that the final day that i was there so they weren't all they'd gone back to america they had to okay. go back yeah, um, yeah. so yeah it's and that's pretty scary as well because you're meeting people you don't even know <laughs> who who they are and yeah, there's like yeah. there was like 20 people oh, and that's wow. a lot that's a big Group. that's a big callback yeah that's a big final. yeah and you see like group. some people at the back that are on laptops and you know <laughs> someone who you're like is that the producer i don't know uh, like oh they didn't they didn't introduce themselves no, no they're just no. like the director and sarah brellis um they introduce themselves okay. but yeah but that was it yeah scary but it's always worth it you know <laughs> and how much um so you originated the role in london but obviously it was a role that had been originated in in the united states how much freedom yeah. did you have to make the character your own not very much okay. um it's very um waitress is very like specific on okay. on, on how it's done and you know i've never seen it obviously i'd like heard um the soundtrack a lot and um the whole broadway show is on youtube and it was it's very hard not to watch it but yeah, I, yeah um i didn't i was like i'm not i'm not going to because but then when we got into rehearsals we all watched it i was like I was like, I spent my whole time like, not to watch this blooming show so I can do my own version and then you show me it. But anyway, um, just because it's, you don't have as much freedom, I guess, as you want because the minute you pick up a glass, that needs to go back in 
this place yeah because someone else needs it so it's heavily heavily choreographed yeah um and also that you know the show is all kind of there's a lot of it that's about humor and you know to to get a joke to land not that you have to do it the same every night but you find a way that works that it's funny but also it's the build-up to that so it's almost like you you need to say it like that because then when she says it that's why it's funny so i feel like there was the script is kind of it is what it is the humor's in there yeah yeah it is yeah and i I guess for dawn almost that's easiest because everything that she says it's funny because it's so truthful and it's so ridiculous (laughs) that it's like as long as you say it straight and you mean it it, even if it if people don't find it funny it's so it's truthful you know she's my favorite so (laughs) and you you were amazing you were amazing so, oh, thank uh, you very much. I, thank I, you. I mean, that, that, when I saw it, it was Catherine McVie, Marisha, mm. David, and Jack McBrayer. So I saw it early, early on. I mean, what an amazing yeah, group of, on. yeah, what an amazing, I, so it's one of those, there's a couple shows, you were in both of them that I never had a desire to see before. Mm. And, and so ah. your cast was the first time I'd ever seen, beautiful, I, I've seen since, but uh, yeah. your cast was the first show that I've ever, that was the first time uh-huh. I ever saw Waitress. And I, I, I still feel it's a little bit of a weird story, but I did enjoy the show and fell in love with the show and yeah. your cast was so amazing so what was it like working with you know Catherine McVie and Jack Mc- uh, I mean Jack McBrayer seems ridiculously hysterical at all times is he or he's, <laughs> honestly he's the funniest man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and also and we just became like best friends on that job which I think is just so important because we spent a lot of our show together and you know Dawn and Ovi are, are a team and yeah um he just taught me so much about humor and he's just the sweetest man like so thoughtful and just he's the best and um take it like an old man um oh no it's take it from an old man not take him <laughs> well that was one of my questions he is he is a tad older than you <laughs> I mean you, you... He yeah. pulled it off. He pulled it off, he, though. He he pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we once talked about it, and he was like, "Laura, how old are you?" And I like told him, and he was like, "I'm closer to your parents' age." Though. Yeah. <laughs> and then we kind of we laughed about it, but I mean, it's just it's so ridiculous their yeah, relationship exactly, anyway. Exactly. But like, um, but we would have to dance that together, and I swear to God, I mean, it's really unprofessional, but we could just never ever do it without being in absolute hysterics. We were just yeah. laughing so much. He's yeah, he was amazing, and um. And Catherine is just like Kat's just a, a star, and she's yeah, she was so lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a pleasure like working with her. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of pressure, I think, when your face is on the billboard. Yeah. Of, you absolutely. know, and you know, she was, you know, in a place she didn't know, and um, you know, I think it's a lot to front a show like that, especially when it's so new. Yeah. Um, I thought she was brilliant and yeah, it yeah was she was a, great. a pleasure to work with her. Yeah, it was yeah, it was really nice. Are you okay on time? We're gonna we're running a little over. Do you have a few more minutes? I am or... So chill. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. No we, rush we, at all. We lost a few minutes. Um so grand. How was it working with Sarah? So I came back. So I since I came back two more times to see Sarah Bareilles because she was so amazing. Oh, really? and, oh, yeah. God. Oh my gosh. When I first saw when I saw her, uh, I'm like, all right, well you gotta see that. Let's go see her. And then when I saw mm. it, I was like mesmerized. Like she's amazing. What was it like working with her? Brilliant. Yeah, yeah like, she seems like an amazing human being. Like, yes, yeah, so amazing, <laughs> just so, like so talented. I feel like often, like sometimes when she was talking, you know, you're like not really listening because I just like, <laughs> be like. Um, but yeah, I mean, we didn't get to work with her for like a lot of it. She was sure. in America for quite a bit, um, but she did come over. I think when we were in tech was when okay. she came over, and like she was here for a lot of previews, and. Um, yeah, she was, she was brilliant. I mean, I was a huge fan of her before, like, um, I'd even heard about Waitress. I listened to, like, yeah. a lot of her music and just really supported her and, um, and was obsessed with Waitress before I even knew it was coming over here. So to meet the woman that wrote it is just, and starred <laughs> in it, is yeah. insane. And yeah, she's, um, you know, we, we worked through a lot of Dawn's stuff together and, you know, she has so much, she just loves the show so much and she knows it the most because she, you know, she wrote the music, like, yeah. um, and yeah, it was, it was just amazing work. It's so surreal working with her. Yeah. Is she, is she the type to give notes? Like, does she, is she hands yeah, on? Definitely. She, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll tell you. Yeah. Um, I mean, in, in the nicest way. Of, of course, like, of course. Yeah. I guess. It's um, her baby. When, it's her baby. Yeah, definitely. And also with like, um, like Jesse Nelson, who wrote the, the script, you know, it was amazing working with her because she, she, you know, wrote it and 
um she was also very like hands-on in like giving us notes and you know um but i feel like the director diane um paulus she had you know it's all their baby and they were very very protective of it and always had a very specific way of how they wanted it done so i think then when sarah and jesse came to watch it that was it was how they wanted it you know yeah um, and it was just like little bits here and there, like little bits of magic. Cause it's, it was so, rehearsals were so much because you, one, you're learning to be a waitress genuinely at the same time. Yeah, I it know it's, yeah. It was so much like we, we were given our script on day one. So we didn't, often you're given your script. Oh, so like, you had no previous, prep, you had no prep time at all. No prep. And oh, wow. the read through, I was like, shit, my, shit myself. Gotta learn a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then literally after that, like, often when you're given a script on day one you kind of like when we did beautiful with um ed our director with that one we sat um in a room for a whole week and we just read the script over and over again and talked about the characters and you know talked about how we felt at this time which whereas with waitress we just did not have the time for that like um and even when we were in tech and things like that we were still figuring stuff out like you know I, i remember the first preview like my mouth was so dry. I was so, <laughs> so tech because you're still, there's just so much to learn. And I remember coming on being like, I, I actually don't know what, which table I'm going to, because you it's, have to go yeah. there and take someone's yeah. order. And then you have, but you have to do that, but also still be listening to the lines because your line is coming in in a second. And if you've missed it, it, it screws everything up. It's just, it's so, and it just, it took so much to get that so immediately as soon as we got our script we were on our feet like we didn't have time to sit and be like what do you think about this it was like right, Lauren, <laughs> right. Here. and yep. i was like with and i go i go where and i was like um and they're like laura it's your line i was like uh sorry where I don't that's know. stressful like, yeah yeah well it's such a fast moving show too you guys are yeah. always in out picking yeah. stuff up dropping yeah. stuff off like yeah. yeah yeah i just remember like and also i met um so my um now boyfriend and um, we like lived together, but the first um, week of rehearsals, we went on a date. What the fuck? Like, who does that? <laughs> and we managed to somehow create a relationship. That's amazing. Me being in these in like your most stressful time of could be, right? <laughs> yeah, so stressful. I mean, he was kind of a nice like escapism, I guess, at the start because it was just, yeah, it was so stressful because there's just, there was just so much to learn. And I yeah. think I'd never. Eugenius was stressful and I felt the pressure but this it was almost like on another level I think I put that pressure on myself because um I'd wanted to do West End from being little and I think when you finally get it like I put so much pressure on myself to be to be perfect and I was like you know this is going to be so heavily judged and what if I get bad reviews and there was just so much that there's just so much more that I had to I felt like I had to think about. Um, I felt like I was working with like the big dogs, you know, and uh, yeah. and almost I felt um, like I had to prove that I belonged there. And I was like, I don't know if I do. Like it just, yeah, it was just so absolutely. much. I felt like I had to prove to myself. And I was like, I've been working for this my entire life, and now you've got it. You better like, you know, you better be good at it. You know, it's um, well, and it's a big show, and it's got a name recognition, and people have seen yeah. other people do it. So there's a lot of a lot of pressure. There. Definitely. So yeah. your last your last three big roles have all been American accents, I think, right? So does that <laughs> does that yeah. come yeah <laughs> does that come naturally to you? Does that uh, is it you have to why they're and they're all different, right? You didn't use they're all very yeah. different accents, yeah. Um, so tell me yeah, a little bit I about mean, that process. Sandra. Um, um, that I played in Big Fish, she was also Southern. Oh American. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was um, that was helpful that I'd done it before. Um, but Dawn, it was so interesting because I, I put on a completely different voice for Dawn. So I kind of, I don't, it was actually quite hard because I don't speak like that naturally. I'd never done that in any show before. But we had um, a vocal coach, and they would, um, which I've had on every job, not Eugenius because that was general American, and that's kind of something you know you're taught to do in college and I think from being little I I just kind of um I guess I watched loads of American stuff and uh, I wanted to get it right so I would always listen to like I don't know YouTube videos of like people (laughs) speaking in in the accent and just you know would um repeat it so I could get it right 
Um, but with Big Fish and with Waitress, we had like an accent coach come in and and help us. But yeah, um, Waitress was just a different kettle of fish because it just, um, I'd completely put on a, a different voice for that. That's just not natural to my own. So, and and also on top of that, doing not only an American accent, but a Southern American accent, having to like keep that up. It's just, it's so, so different from my own. Um, so yeah, I had to find a way of being able to sing that and speak like that whilst keeping it safe for myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's hard. I, I I live in the Southern United States, although I'm not from there, right. so I don't have the natural accent, but uh, yeah. It, yeah, it is hard. I, 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 uh, I'm a big fan of Beetlejuice and he talked about having to create that voice for Beetlejuice and how he, oh he, gosh. he actually worked with, uh, I don't know what they're called, but ear, nose and throat type of doctors where they put cameras right. down his throat while he was singing it to see what was actually straining his vocal cords yeah. and what wasn't. And so, yeah, it's, it's definitely oh a thing where gosh. if you're not talking and singing in your natural uh, tone, um, it, it changes so much. And I feel like after I finished Waitress, it's almost like I couldn't remember what my voice was like. And sometimes if I go to sing the Eugenia stuff again, it's really, <laughs> it was like really difficult for me because obviously I'd found a certain way of singing um and it's really difficult often like people always say this but when you have an audition and you go to sing something else you're like oh I can't sing it It sounds awful because your voice like gets used to like your muscle memory it gets used to singing in a certain way yeah you know? no, definitely it's definitely muscle memory so you just got to do American shows from now on I guess uh, the, yeah uh... <laughs> Yeah. No British, yeah. All right. Let's. <laughs> there's a couple of questions here. Some we answered. I'll just throw this one. Yes, waitress was your West End debut, right? Uh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, uh, I just want to yeah. not leave some people out who ask some questions. No. Um, uh, all right. I'll, I, everybody loves these type of questions, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> favorite it. funniest on stage mishap at waitress. Oh. Those are always a favorite question of everyone. Do you know what? There's like so many. I mean, <laughs> um, Waitress just had loads and often I felt like I was almost involved because either I forget a line or I'm like, just I, I do something wrong. Um, but like, I remember one time me and Jack were like on stage together and I like, um, I like had to like put my arm on his chest and we like stop for a minute and like just breathe. And someone in the audience sneezed and like, I... <laughs> I'm so immature, but I find it hilarious when anybody sneezes. Like, I just find it <laughs> so funny. And especially if, like, sometimes, like, I was like, um, there was, like, one bit where I was like, when he sees me, someone was like, achoo! And I was like, what? Do you want to It's like, if someone sneezes on time, I just absolutely love it. But I can never think of, like, the funny, like, mishap, but there's <laughs> loads of stuff. I'm sure. Like, That's just so, uh, so fast-paced. Stuff has to happen almost every night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And there's flour everywhere and I constantly like I would just like slip on stuff and fall and like you know I feel like there's yeah I, I can never think of anything well there's like the classic I, I don't know if you were still on the show the classic David Hunter video that he always posts where he slipped right during curtain call and <laughs> yeah hilarious like, but it's because the stage is it's just filled with like flour and like lo like bits of oil and yeah just like yeah um <laughs> Oh God, no! I feel like there's one time I forgot my glasses, and I was like, I <laughs> "Oh, they're so, them. they're so, yeah, they're so iconic to her, your char yeah. that character." So yeah, yeah, and I didn't have them on, and I, like for the last part of the show, and I felt so naked. I was like, "I can't act this anymore." Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna think of like loads of funny That's things right. when I go off, but now I can't. So let's um, oh, let's get to beautiful. I'm, I know I'm taking like so much of your time. Um, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, tell me a little bit about beautiful and how that came about, and and what uh, it was like actually playing a real life person this time versus you know yeah um, yeah fictional characters. Um, so that came about. So when I was on my first break um, from waitress, um, I was going on holiday um, with my boyfriend, and uh, my agent was like, "Oh, you've got an audition for beautiful," and I was like, oh, "Classic." I'm going on holiday. And I was like, and she was like, it's fine, just do a self tape. So I did um, a self tape literally the morning I got to Mallorca in Spain. Yep. And like, it was just hilarious because I got like my beach shorts on, like, <laughs> and my bikini. And then like the top half was like me dressed as like some kind of version of Cynthia. I was like, I could <laughs> make myself. And um, we'd like been like recording like parts of it. And then like the, the start to be like a fitness thing going on in the pool. And they were like, come on, everybody, you can do this. And they're like, put on this, like, music. And I was like, oh, my God. And I had, like, 
I had until like 12 to like get it sent off. And my agent was like, where is it? And I was like, hang on. I was like, we are having stress. I'm on a holiday. And this is, yeah. Um, but so I did it then. And then um, when I got back um, after I'd flown in the morning of, I then had my actual audition. So I met like the director, I met the casting director um, and the MD and then um, yeah it was just a really nice audition and I just kind of wasn't sure I didn't know that that was my final and they were like we're going to film it and send it off what I don't know is that they send that film off to Cynthia and Barry oh wow which is like like insane like that is insane um to know that Cynthia has watched my video and be like yeah she can play me I'm like <laughs> Oh my god! It was what amazing. So yeah, that's kind of how it came about. Um, oh wow! And I didn't realise that um, Cameron had told me that he'd they were waiting to find a Cynthia, and he was like, "God, I hope she's like shorter than me, because then if she's shorter than me, I'll get it." And thank God I was. So <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, so he was like, "Thank God you got it." Um, but yeah, I found it actually because it was playing like you say a, a real person. Yeah. Um, I found that really difficult because. I so wanted, like, if she was to come and see it, um, I really wanted her to watch me and be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> and I was constantly aware of it. And I remember speaking to Ed, our director, being like, I just don't know if I'm doing it right. Mm. I don't know if I, I want to make sure that I'm doing this justice. Yeah. And also, Cynthia is ne has not been a character that I've played naturally. Um, I mean, don't, obviously, there's, there's parts of her that are like me, but I'm not. I guess I'm confident in different ways, but she has like a brash confidence. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, and she's witty funny, whereas like the funny that I've played has been like, I'm awkward funny. You know, so it's kind of <laughs> sure. like, you know, yeah, no, it's absolutely. Like a weirdness. And um, I'd played characters that were, that didn't have confidence in themselves. So that kind of became, I think you have like, a, it's almost like I had a go to and I, and I, and I knew how to find that in myself. Whereas with Cynthia, I was like, how do I, okay. It, it just almost felt like I, not for the first time, I was like fully acting. That, that's not right. But like. <laughs> I know what you're saying though, but it was like, so it, different it from that year. So different from myself yeah. that I really had to figure out a way to completely be someone different. And that, that was so refreshing because mm. every night I got to put on clothes that I would never wear and be like, I'm going to be someone totally different. And for once I'm going to feel really sexy and I'm just going to tell people what I think of them and demand attention. And it felt great. Um, but yeah, I did like a lot of research on her and, you know, it was something that in the rehearsal room, we all talked about it and, you know, um, and I guess with Cynthia being a funny character, I was so desperate that I just want to make sure that I was making people laugh in the right way. And I, I found that quite difficult because that, yeah. like I was saying, that that's not my go-to of how I make people laugh. How I make people laugh is, is being silly. Whereas that's not, that's not Cynthia. So I, I just had to like find a different way uh, of doing it. So yeah. Um, but it was Carly. really refreshing. Carly's, oh. ple Carly's pleased. <laughs> and, like, I wish, I so wish I'd been able to see Carly do it because I just, no doubt she would have been absolutely incredible. And she was an absolute babe. Just is she, is she Is she as much of a diva and difficult to work with as she seems? No, I'm just yes. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Just, oh, she's a just nightmare. Just kidding, Carla. Just kidding. <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's an absolute dream. Like, an absolute mate. I'm, not, su and, I'm um, not surprised. Um, yeah. Did you have um, a favorite song in the show? Was there something that you just loved in the show? To sing? Oh, my God. I always say this one. And I, I know you shouldn't really pick a favorite, but um, um, so Leah um, sang The Locomotion in the show. And, oh, my God, I would watch it every night. And I would, like, just pure dance. And, honestly, she blew <laughs> me away every night. And that was, I think that was my favorite. Or Natural Woman, classic. Yeah, that's a great also show. Daisy, that's a great song. Davis yeah. Blew me away. Like, just, yeah, just watching those two numbers. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. And just, I just love to, like, dance at the side. And it just, yeah, I just, it was so fun. But, yeah, that was another show where I avoided the whole time. Most of the time it was on Broadway. And I never wanted to see it. And then my friend... Uh, was in it actually playing Cynthia Weil on Broadway, oh, really? and so uh, yeah. yeah, so so Laurel Harris, and so I went to yeah. I went to see it, and I fell in love with it. I mean, the music like it's like such a bop. I mean, there's so much music there that you're like, oh, yeah. she wrote that, and she wrote that, and she wrote that. Yeah, it's same way I felt at Anne Juliet. 
Yeah, exactly. So it's it's amazing, and it's funny, and it's touching, and it's heartbreaking at times. I mean, it's got kind yeah. of all the emotions. It, yeah, like you say, it has everything. And what's amazing is that it's a real story. Like this woman genuinely went through all this. Oh yeah. Like, and the fact that she wrote this stuff. I mean, I, I was just so proud to be a part of it because even like Cynthia, like the the stuff that her and you know herself and Barry wrote, just like it's music i just had no idea that she wrote that and i'm like yeah. wow like and like you say every song in the show is an absolute tune and yeah. i just i loved being part of it it was classy and like you say it had it's such a, a gorgeous story and i'm a sucker for an underdog yeah and you know like and i just loved following that and then, yeah and it's it's just funny and it just it was a joy to be a part of i felt happy all the time <laughs> yeah so, so so of the three Janie, dawn or cynthia is one of them your favorite oh <laughs> no, no. <laughs> i couldn't say i couldn't say i mean i definitely um i was having an incredible time in beautiful it was a really yeah. a really nice refreshing change for me and um i was around some really amazing people um Cameron Sharp who played um Barry Mann like became my best friends and just we were just having an absolute blast like Carly was a fucking dream like all the, like Daisy all these and Adam like we just I was just having the best time like yeah. there were parts of there were parts I think of when I was playing Dawn that I found really stressful um oh, and, okay. you know um it was such a, a whirlwind of a, of a show for me and it was very high pressure. And um, whereas when I was doing Beautiful, it just felt like, okay, and breathe. And it just, it almost was like a, a healing show, I think. Yeah, um, that's good. That's amazing. You know, it was, it's such like, it's like women doing these powerful things and it's yeah, so yeah, strong. Absolutely. It's like, you know, I feel like it's almost like Carol goes through this darkness, but she comes into this light and it's like, it's, you know these i just um yeah it was it was just different i think also playing two characters that like i was saying before are really are not very confident and um you know to then play someone it's almost like i needed a bit like dawn got into me a bit yeah. because i it's really hard I, I feel like i sometimes get into the character so much that i take it home with me you know mm -hmm. whereas I, I feel like i needed a bit of cynthia i was like okay now i need to feel good about like really good about myself i need to feel confident and i need to feel yeah like sexy and like it was just amazing to be able to play that so yeah i guess i couldn't fully choose but i was really loving <laughs> it sounds it. like you did kind of yeah <laughs> and would, would... <laughs> I was really loved, like i love them all equally in different ways but... <laughs> Would you revisit all three shows if you had an opportunity? Is, is there, or it sounds like maybe Dawn, you might not want to go back to um, Waitress. I mean, I think obviously never say never. Sure. Of like, course. you know, playing Dawn was a big dream of mine. Playing Cynthia is a dream of mine and playing Janie was. Um, and I almost, sometimes I feel like when you go back to a show, it can be, um, it's often not the same. Yeah. Like, um, and I feel like you want to relive the experience that you had. Like um, mm. before um, Big Fish came about, I was offered um, Shrek again, <laughs> but I was offered like a different, like a different role in it. Okay. And um, I was offered step and cover Fiona, and my agent was like, "You could do that. You, you know, you you could do that. That would be that would be great." And I was like, "Okay," but I, I just I had such an amazing time that. Um, that I felt like if I went back, it probably wouldn't. It might not have been the same, and I might not have enjoyed it as much. And I had, I had such, I have such fond memories of all of these jobs. Um, that I feel like it's it's nice to keep them that way. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And um, and my aim, actually, in in my career, you know, people always ask you like, what role do you want to play, or like, what do you want? What worlds? For me, it's like I just want to keep going and keep doing loads of different stuff, and I like you know i just want to keep learning and like you say never say never but i just i feel like i just i want to do something different and yeah you know play as many be in as many different shows as i can be um you know i mean yeah. i don't know if like if beautiful came back around now i'd be like yes because i'm poor. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like the same with eugene it's the same with dawn so yeah. i'd be like yeah i'll take it because i need money um, that's I don't what want I was to get back into a show, but yeah, um, that's what I was saying to yeah. somebody recently. Like everybody's just going to jump at the first 
opportunities yeah. right now. Because yeah, because a, job, a job to job right now. For so, sure, yeah. I need to yeah. pay my rent. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, let's take a couple more questions from the audience and then I will oh, yeah. let you go because it's been, yeah. let's see what we haven't been asked before. Ooh. What was your favorite, what was your favorite beautiful venue? Oh, really good question. Um, maybe, maybe a mix of I'm so bad at like making decisions. <laughs> like, I mean, I loved um, when we were in Bromley um, because I felt like loads of people, I love like opening nights and I love like when we, you know, there's all that buzz and I think we, it was really selling really well whilst we were there in Bromley and um, um, we just all realised what kind of like a special show we were in. Um, but then we went to the Bradford Alhambra and that, like loads of my family from back home could come and see me and that sh um that theater is a place that I grew up going to watch stuff in yeah and I guess so for me on a personal level that felt really it always feels so special for me to go back to like that theater and and do a show there as like you know a person being paid in a show because that was I sat and watched stuff there and was like I'd love to be on stage one day <laughs> And like, it's just so nice to revisit that and be like in the dressing room as like yeah. a character in a show and be like, and it's, yeah, it's a really beautiful theatre. It's a really traditional theatre and yeah. So I'd say maybe Bradford's. Okay, awesome. Well, a lot of the other questions were stuff we've already talked about. So I always end okay. these with a, thi a this or a that. You up for a little game of this or that? Okay, go on. So you have to choose one or the other. I'm Here really we go. This, but okay. Chocolate, <laughs> or, chocolate or vanilla? Oh, chocolate. Okay. Dog or cat? Dog. Call or text? Oh, call. Oh, <laughs> sweet <Yeah>. or savory? <laughs> sweet or savory? Sweet. Uh, cake or pie? Oh, oh God, that really depends what mood I'm in. Oh, but I'm, oh cake. cake. Cake, okay. Yeah. Uh, Coke, Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Cake. Coke, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, coffee or tea? Tea. Tea. Uh, beer yeah. or wine? Beer or wine? Wine, I think. Wine. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix or YouTube? Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to be really controversial. I'm going to say YouTube because. YouTube? Yeah, I, I love like, watching yeah. videos and funny <laughs> videos and, like, yeah. you know, it brings so much joy. Lake or ocean? Oh, ocean. Ocean? Mm. I'm more of a lake person. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was a delight to talk to you. Thank you so uh, much for hanging in with us for all these uh, multiple, I think this is the longest one we've done with uh, oh, well, technical difficulties. It's an absolute joy. Just yeah, thank you so, so much. It was great to talk to you. Uh, I'm bummed you. I didn't get to see you in beautiful, but hopefully I'll get to see you in something uh, oh, something soon. So uh, oh, I got a lot of questions. To see you properly. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, Carly and I are having drinks, so you can come with us when we, uh, yeah. whenever I can get to London again, we'll have a group, oh, uh, group outing. Um, Hey, everybody, I will save the, the live will get saved. It'll be momentarily on Instagram. And then we post it to the website and I'll share the link and, and Laura can share the link if she chooses and all yeah. that good stuff. So, all right. Excellent. So great to meet you. Thank you so much. Uh, be safe.